Sometimes you have to look back to move forward. No one is going to believe that you could find a Hall of Fame caliber baseball player that nobody knows anything about. Um, this is the case we did that. John Wesley Donaldson is that player, born in 1891 in Glasgow, Missouri, a picturesque town with some ugly history. I mean, the year he was born, the, the, a black man was lynched in the streets of Glasgow, you know, just a few, you know, a few months before his birth. Most of uh, the black people were on one side of town, the, the white people were on another side of town, black and white cemeteries, the whole nine yards. During his life, Donaldson measured his success on the baseball field. You know, he started playing in Glasgow for a team called the Hanukkah Blues about 1908. 33 years of career, uh, nearly 700 pitching appearances, uh, more wins and strikeouts than any segregated pitcher in the history of baseball. It's important to understand this guy was mammoth. Pete Gorton wanted to turn the page and create a new chapter for that left-handed pitcher. Literally thousands of people sent in box scores or game accounts from their local newspaper, and we have somewhere around 2,500 games that he played in. Now his hometown, population 1,103, is honoring him. He didn't get his due when it was actually due to him um, through no control of his own, and I think people here think it's a long time coming. I knew nothing about him until this all started. I didn't even know that he grew up here or anything. The baseball field is now John Donaldson Field. His statue uncovered like the history that has become part of his legacy. He's one of the greatest unknown stories of African-American baseball players or baseball players, period. And Mama talked about him constantly, how he was this big ball player, but we never knew how big he was. We were in awe. This was my uncle. He named the Kansas City Monarchs and pitched for them too. Check out this picture. He's on the top row, second from the left. He's vital to the Kansas City Monarchs franchise. He's the first black scout in Major League Baseball history. It's time for us to start telling people who he is and celebrating the legacy that was taken away from him by segregation. This community is united, socially distant, but close as can be. It is beautiful, and I'm glad to see it, and we need this. We need to come together. They have a giant who came from their town. Um, it's important and courageous of people here in Glasgow to celebrate him. That's a, a tremendous, you know, tremendous step forward, especially in these times. Hopefully with everything going on around the world, I hope people look at us and go, hey, they recognize that everyone is equal. As our nation grapples with the grip of our past, Glasgow is inviting us all to take a seat and share in the pride they have for their future. Dear, at a time when we're seeing monuments of hate being taken down all over this country, this predominantly white community is erecting a statue of a black man and naming a baseball field in his honor. Words can't describe it. I'm grateful, see, to be a part of this. While we all search for how to heal, instead of looking down on this small town, maybe we should look up and see how far they have come. John, you did it. A brand new day, brand new day. Let's keep swinging. In Glasgow, Dia Wall, 41 Action News.